This video is powered by the pros at Pascal Air Plumbing and Electric. Arkansas owned, Arkansas operated. GoPascal.com. We're going to be up for a challenge team that, you know, when we schedule them, pick to win their league. Uh, outstanding offensive team. They played great. Uh, kept coming at us. Proud of our kids for um, doing what we had to do to find a way to win again. They were kind of a scrappy team. Does that help you get ready for the coming games? It does. It gives us another style of play to play against. Uh, a team that's going to try to get it. Um, more track meet and um, something else other than pure basketball. And that's fine. We're going to see that from time to time. So I'm glad we played it. I'm glad we got out of it uh, injury free and uh, able to move on to the next one. Ever had an opposing player sort of taunt you at the end of the game? <laughs> that's a first, but that's okay. I probably should have just done. I probably should have just turned around with that much amount of time and walked away. But um, I'm. I will always defend our kids. Um, You know, I don't have enough money to pay the fines with what I'd like to say, so I won't. Um, but I will always defend our kids, and um, I'll make sure that we understand that we um, – and I gotta, I've got to do a better job there and not get thrown out for our kids, but I'm not, I'm not going to allow teams to call timeouts uh, when we've subbed early in the game, uh, call timeouts to draw up actions, um, to go against Avery Hughes, who is the one of the best kids in the world. She's the epitome of what a walk-on was that earned a scholarship. And to have uh, plays ran at her specifically, um, I'm you know I'm going to defend that kid with if, if I have to spend money, but I'd rather not. It was kind of a theme in some of the games in the Virgin Islands opposing the right before the half strong did it again today. Just how important is it? One of 12 shooting for Troy there at the end of the first half to play some good defense. Yeah. Those, those rotations, you know, the way we're kind of rotating it in, that seems to be where it's catching people. Like the end of second quarters, the beginning of the third quarters, like our plus minus is crazy. I think it's because we've come at you. There's some compounding effect on it. Uh, we go into the halftime on with some momentum. We come out, we keep it going. Um, and then I think, you know, that, that compounding effect, uh, in, in that little period there, you saw, and we found a hot hand, kept going to it, um, taking a little better care of the basketball. Um, you know, a team that gets 22 offensive rebounds is always going to, it's always going to be physical and they got 24 of them tonight. Um, but I thought overall, for the most part of it, we were able to play, uh, with some poise, uh, move the ball after they would trap us. Uh, we were expecting to see tra uh, press, you know, for the majority of the game. So uh, the fact that we only end up with 14 turnovers, um, we'll, we'll find some, we'll find some teaching moments, but we'll also find a lot of good in this film. Talking about it being pretty physical. Um, whenever they started picking up the press, Michaela and Sam were kind of getting battered out there at times, but Aaron kept on running the floor and getting those layups. How important was that stretch of handling, handling that press? I thought it gave us a little bit of separation there. You know, there, uh, Aaron, Aaron runs the floor hard a lot, and sometimes we can't reward her because that's what teams take away. Well, tonight they weren't taking that away. Uh, so I'm glad our kids found them, found her in transition um, to reward her for that. Miriam got one of those in there too. But, you know, Mac and Sam, that combo of having those two up there at the top, um, you know, we've last year we would have, you know, Amber up there at the top and more of a shooter, but now we got two attackers up there. So I think, again, over the course of uh, 40 minutes, uh, they tend to wear you down. I'm, I'm just now glanced down the fact that they get 29, 10 uh, assists. Um, that's that's a good night for those two. And Max, seven rebounds again. Or no, seven fouls drawn. Yeah. I know several of the players this year, kind of short-term memory has been important to just keep on shooting. Yeah. Jersey was kind of one of those tonight, it seemed like. What did you think of her game? Good. Uh, you know, she's getting more and more comfortable back out on the perimeter. It takes some time uh, after, you know, we had to play around the basket last year, and now she's – uh, a little bit more comfortable out there, continues to improve every single night out. I love the, that she's accepted the role that she's been in, uh, you know, these first uh, nine games. Uh, but her shot continues to look better and better. I thought one of the ones she missed was going in too. You know, it was it looked good coming out of her hand. They, she works at it a lot. Um, and over the course of the last two or three weeks, even, even a little bit more. But, yeah, I, I want to make sure we encourage our kids to, you know, I took Sailor out tonight for not shooting one. Um, most kids learn that pretty fast <laughs> if you have to come out 
Um, I, I don't, I don't want them to determine whether or not they should be shooting or not. I told them I'll, I'll determine whether you need to be shooting. If you're open, you need to shoot it. So, uh, she'll, she'll definitely learn from that. I know. Have you ever been in a game when it was 10, 10 and nobody's missed a shot yet? No, <laughs> no, I was wondering. It was crazy. Uh, that was the first time I've seen that maybe one high school game, but yeah, that's, that's hard to do in these times, but I know they're capable of it. Uh, I've watched enough film on them to know that, uh, they can, they can really, really score. But I thought we took good shots. We were under control. But, no, I looked up, and we were, I think we were on pace to score about 160 points there for a minute. Uh, you knew it wasn't going to last. Uh, teams would settle in. But, yeah, it was, it was a fun – had to be a fun start to watch. Carr uh, giving you maybe even more than you expected uh, when she came here, or did you uh, kind of know, know she could do that? Oh, I think she can do that. No, I, I think, honestly, if you looked at her, her – she took a really good shot. She took two, four shots. You know, that's something we have a conversation about every game. Uh take your shots, break them down. We're going to show you to you. Um, and that's, you know, going back to where she's played in the past, she kind of had to take some of those shots. And I think now she's learning that she doesn't have to take those to get 12 shots. She took two tonight. She's still going to end up with 12 good shots and two free throws. That's more than most people take in games. So I think she's starting to learn that. And I think as the year goes along, she'll learn value in that. And there's going to be a night you look up and she's seven for nine. She can really, really scroll, really, really shoot it. So twenty of the thirty-one make shot and I were assisted um, that, by players in double figures. Just where do you think the offense is at right now? We didn't run much tonight. I mean, very, very little. I, I think our offense is in good shape. You you can't really run much offense. They literally change defenses every time down the court. Um, so we kind of just settled in on let's let's play out of actions. And let's get in some spots and and let their um, their changing defenses be to our advantages. And I, and I thought after we saw all of them, um, I, I I lost count. I think there were six different defenses in the first quarter. Um, when we just finally settled in and, and started just kind of playing around, uh, opening up gaps and and moving and cutting, uh, I thought that was our best plan for tonight. Uh, I do think our offense is starting to click. I, you know, I, I've been really proud of our defense. And we had some errors tonight. We gave up a lot of offensive rebounds, but we still hold them to 32%. Um, and that's 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 encouraging. Uh, being 9-0 and unranked, are, are you using that for fuel, or are you just happy enough to be under the radar right now? Yeah, you know, I, I have voted in the coaches poll. So, and I voted for seven of my, or seven of my 10 years. There's a certain amount of inertia that the preseason poll creates teams get in there and they get ranked high and then they don't lose. So it's hard to move in and out. Um, I'll be interested. I think the net rankings come out either tomorrow or Monday. I can't remember when they sit. Is it Monday? They're going to start releasing. The NCAA is going to start releasing the net. Uh, I will be really interested to see where we fall when that comes out. Um, but the polls, you know, in, in the coaches, in the coaches instance, there's 32 of us that vote. Um, and, you know, that can, that can be regional bias. It can be lots of different things. So our kids just want to keep trying to improve in every aspect, every opportunity we get. I would like to be ranked. Obviously, it's something that we talk about as a program. I think every program on our campus so far that's played has been ranked. So I don't want to be the kind of that, you know, guy at the table that, you know, we're not the one. So um, I, I think our team's earned it with their win over Kansas State and also who we've played. You know, Kent, Troy are both ranked in the mid-major poll. Uh, we've gone in, on the road to play a SWAC team that it wasn't part of a challenge or part of a league making us go do it. We did it. Uh, we're playing our in-state team. So, um, I, I know we've got – everybody's looking at our schedule, and I, I know that after finals we go, you know, to a top-10 ranked team, Creighton, and play Oregon and potentially Ohio State three straight games. And we'll find out a lot about our team there. So, uh, I, I'd love to pop in the rankings if we could, but if not, um, it'll happen organically if we keep winning. I'll listen to that. Hey. You're not enough the first time 2013. Okay. Which uh, was pretty cool. Yeah. And obviously, uh, by kind of the ups and downs of the game, that's a big accomplishment. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks for pointing out. I did not know that. Callie would have probably have mentioned that to me tomorrow, but. Um, I am proud for our kids because, again, the schedule was put together to challenge us and not necessarily get to 9-0. But to be there, uh, really cool. 
Um, there's still a lot of basketball to play, I understand. And, um, but I do like the fact that we've challenged ourselves. Our schedule, we've, uh, Tulsa's going to break into that, that mid-major poll too. You just watch. They're going to be a team that this team will probably go ahead and win their league. So um, I think when we look back on it, that 9-0 start, we've beaten some good teams. You know, got there in, a, in the right way. We didn't play a bunch of teams that are going to end up 300 in the net next week when you see them come out. Elephant in the room, obviously, Kelsey Dunn's dealing with this on the court. Yeah. But, uh, that, I mean, that's just got to be cool. I know we talked about it a lot leading up to it. But yeah. Until you're in the building with her on the other side. Yeah. You know how uh, watching her in, well, I, was, I was like a beaming, proud uh, friend, you know, former coach out there watching her work in warm up. She's out there teaching the game, she's preparing her kids. Uh, I watched her down there on the bench, you know. I talked to her last night. Uh, coach Rigby was gracious enough to let her let me see her and not you know put the clamps on her uh, so I got to take her to walk-ons and see her mural uh in there and some people fans immediately recognized her when she walked in the door uh it was a loud ovation I heard when we recognized her there in that first media timeout um but she means so much uh to me personally she means a lot to my family uh in our into our program you know there there'll come a day and a time when we get to honor her uh, in other ways uh, and she's going to be a great coach. You know, the fact that uh, she was mature enough to kind of see the the path of what the WNBA was looking like and to get started into something she's got a, a real passion for. Uh, really, really proud and great to see her mom. Her mom had on a great shirt. It was a broken heart torn between Troy and Arkansas. So um, they they mean a lot to us. They'll, you know, it, uh, we'll be pulling for, for her the rest of the, the, rest of the way out. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's really really neat that those kids uh see her in that in that light, you know. And and I want all of our players to know that if you have a desire to coach, this is a great place to do it. We do it. We let our kids do a lot of coaching. They they've got a lot of responsibility in our scouting, a lot of responsibility in our how we run our locker room and our team meetings and stuff. So I think it's a natural fit for anybody that wants to be a coach. And um, I've always said, you know, I wouldn't be coaching if somebody hadn't given me a chance. So I want to be a coach whose roots and branches or whatever analogy of trees we want to use. Uh, I want those to be deep and wide. And it's, it was, I hate playing against them though. I, I hate playing against former players or people I used to work with it. Um, you know, it has a, a mixed emotion type setting, but, uh, really proud of her, and I'm glad that we could recognize her the way we football did. Football is back, and Bet Online remains your number one source for all your football betting needs this season. You'll find the latest odds, matchup info, player news, and game trends. And as your continued source for all sports wagering info, Bet Online features live betting, free contests, live scores, and giveaways all season long. Always the fastest and easiest way to bet on all your favorite sports and events like MLB. MMA, tennis, boxing, and even golf. Head to betonline.ag to join and receive your 100% welcome bonus with your first deposit. Make sure to use the promo code BELIEVE to receive your rewards. That's B-L-E-A-V. Bet online, where the game starts.